Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you how to configure a security policies in Pega. So before uh, going to discuss about the security policies in Pega, I have a one requirement, how to enable a captcha in my login screen and how to disable an operator after a multiple failed attempts of invalid login credentials this is also another requirement how to enable or configure a multi-factor authentication in pega this is another requirement how to configure my password should be having one special character one number one numerical number one alpha numeric etc this is another requirement How to lock a password after multiple attempts of invalid password or invalid login? This is another requirement. For example, if your client is asking these enhancements or these requirements in your Pega application, usually how do you do this? How do you implement this one? So remember this point. If any requirement if any requirement is came immediately as a developer everyone is looking for is there any rule is available in pega how can we implement this in pega do we need to write any code custom code in pega like this because people are worrying about because if people doesn't know about the tool then immediately people can worry is is it possible in pega is it possible in Pega? How can we implement this in Pega? Do we need to write any custom Java code for this? How can we develop this one? So the best way of learning in Pega is the best way of learning in Pega is exploring the tool. The one and only option is exploring the tool. I'm telling you again, the best way of learning is exploring the tool since it is not a technology it is not a programming language it is an application it is a one business process management tool tool is nothing but an application if you want to become a stronger on this tool the one and only option is you have to explore the tool what are the features are available in this tool what are the options are available in this tool what this tool is giving what are the different types of functionalities offering this tool you have to understand you have to understand or you have to explore similarly now i want to enable the multi-factor authentication or i want to enable the captcha in my login screen i want to disable my operator after a successful invalid login attempts etc so how can we achieve this one by using a simple configuration in pega we can achieve this one how can we configure this just log in into the dev studio because here i am not writing any code i am not creating any rules i am not customizing any existing rules etc pega has providing an option call it as a security policies because it is related to the authentication it is related since it is related to the authentication that's why they have uh, named as a security policies in pega because pega is providing some security policies Policy in the sense, see, remember this point. What is meant by policy? Policy means it can be customized. It can be configurable always. Policy means it can be configurable always. So let us suppose if you are in your company, yearly leaves is 15 days. So next year they might change your, they might change that policy. That means it is configurable. You no need to write or you no need to customize I mean to say you no need to do any lot of things to for that customization it is just a configurable so always policies should be a configurable okay so here also I am going to show you the security policies in Pega so by using the security policies you can configure whatever the requirements we have discussed just now so go to the configure So organization, security, authentication, here you can see the security policies. 
So we have a different types of security policies in PEGA related to the authentication. Even all these policies are related to the authentication even though inside that also we have a different types of policies like password policies. See this one password policies and the capture policies and lockout policies and audit policies and other policies operator disablement policy etc so we have a, these many types of uh, policies uh, related to the security which is nothing but authentication in pegap see this one configure a security policies related to the authentication and session management so i mean to say frequently required policies for example here a password policy my one of the requirement is my password minimum one special character etc my password length should be maximum unique historical operator passwords 5 okay minimum alphabets 1 minimum numeric 1 minimum operator password length is 8 so you can achieve your password configuration by using this password security policies and captcha policies very simple you just enable the captcha implementation uh, yeah, because captcha is disabled by default you can enable the captcha so here you can select enable then captcha will be displayed on your login screen you no need to write a single piece of code or you no need to create a single rule in the pega just by making this configuration by enabling this configuration you can achieve the captcha enablement in your login screen and lockout policy see this one enable authentication lockout policy by default see if you want you can see that uh, even if you give the n number of invalid credentials also after next attempt you can able to log in into the pega application for example i forgot my password i tried it 10 times 11th time i am successfully able to log in into my application but see usually this cannot be happen this cannot be happen in the real time applications because mm -hmm. some hackers are trying to access your applications by giving the invalid credentials why should i accept this one all security applications must i think uh, you must see this feature in the banking applications so here after three invalid attempts then your password should be locked if you want to configure or if you want to enable such a feature in your pega application this one lockout uh, policies enable authentication lockout penalty i can just simply enable failed login attempts before employing authentication lockout penalty how many attempts five attempts uh, initial authentication lockout penalty seconds eight seconds uh, track login failures duration in 60 minutes so even after eight seconds also you can log in into that again meanwhile your password is locked so time being i am disabling i don't want to do this one so like this audit policy audit level logging level so this is nothing but a history audit history by default it is a basic and if you want to multi-factor other policies multi-factor authentication policies maximum one-time password failure attempts three times maximum age of one-time password token in seconds is 180 because even see in your banking application if you want to make a transaction they will send a multi they will send a password or code security code to your email id or to your mobile number and the lifetime of that security code one time passcode is 30 seconds so in such a way that you can configure that same policy here in pega by using the security policies from the multi-factor authentication policies validity of one time password confirmation in minutes is 60 etc email account from which one time password need to be sent or sms account from which one time password need to be sent because from which email you want to send any one time password from which sms from which mobile number you want to send uh, this one time passcode and the number of days okay operator disablement policy how many number of days in operator is inactive for example due to some reason if the operator is disabled after these many days after it these many days only operator can be enabled so like this and if you want to give the exclusion list of operators that means uh, if you want to give some exclusion to some specific operators you can add the list of operators so by using all these security policies configuration you can easily achieve all these uh, initial discussed requirements like enable the captcha or disable the operators password uh, 